you guys. Uh, before we move on to the next topic, I just wanted to give you a brief uh, description about the non-linear function that we saw in our perceptron model. The most common one that you will find most of the places is going to be the sigmoid function because that is what it was created initially for and still most of the places it is used it's not an outdated algorithm because it's a function the function fulfills its purpose so it's all good this is the sigmoid function okay a similar but a bit more like the sigmoidal is more like this and uh, the hypertangential is more like this so a bit more steeper move from zero to one is a hyperbolic uh, tangent okay the function for that is uh, this one and the most uh, commonly used in neural net uh, convolutional neural networks or uh, the new ones where the regression and these kind of things are where you have continuous output uh, in those scenario we have the rectified linear unit okay and you will uh, not see this term very often you will see this term very very often when you get into uh, convolutional neural network that is relu okay that is rectified linear unit and the graph for that is very simple. Anything before zero, it's max of zero or x. So anything before zero, it's zero. After zero, it's this line. This is still not linear. The linear function had to be something like this. Okay, this is not linear because for uh, before zero, it's zero, and then it starts to go uh, linear. Uh, this is basically y equals to x. But since the function is taken from the entire minus infinity to infinity, this is linear only till this point. After that, it's all zero. Okay. So this is our rectified linear unit. Now, the reason why we need such a complex function, uh, you need to understand this particular thing very carefully, is that later on you will see uh, something which uh, would actually need to differentiate these functions. Okay. And if you just go and check out uh, this particular thing once, you will understand this, is that the differentiation of these functions, and I will not get into it because I know a lot of you are not from the maths background, but the differentiation of these do not need to be calculated. Okay. They are very simple. Uh, you can directly calculate those by putting X into another uh, G dash of X and just G, G dash of X is not very hard to compute. Okay. And the reason why we need a function, which is doing something like this so that it fulfills our need of putting things to zero or one of the linear growth at the same time should be easy to differentiate is that all that we do for training a neural network is differentiation okay and a lot of them okay I'm, I'm talking in terms of millions and trillions of differentiation every iteration okay and uh, that is the key reason why we need such a complex functions good thing you don't need to remember any of those functions um, hand of rule if i have to select just use sigmoidal when you have uh, you are okay with output between zero to one else go for a relu if you are uh, requiring output uh, with linear growth okay just choose between these two. Most of the time it should work. Okay. Uh, that's it. I think that should be sufficient. Now let's uh, look into a real neural network with real numbers and see how it exactly works. Mm -hmm.